hey there everybody how y'all doing hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always i'm deluxe all right let's do another freaking transformer review because i love some freaking transformers i love some beast wars and trans art today we'll be taking a look at bw uh bwm 13 vice poison battler uh, this is our quick strike really excited to uh, get this um i uh this is my favorite character i uh, just like the way you talk you know the tarnation and all that good stuff he talked like a texan and everything i'm not from texas but you know i'm close i'm in arkansas but anyways love the box art looks really good that is very nice i like that oh uh, you got tarantulas right there a little outline of him beautiful artwork on the back that is very nice very very nice vice poison up there metal jungle all right and then you got megatron right there Awesome, Predacon. So there you go. All right, let's take a quick look at what he comes with. All right, doesn't come with much at all. So he comes with this nice, thick, thick card uh, for his bio and everything, or a little, you know, little, uh, stats and everything. But very nicely done. It says Vice Poison, Metal Jungle. Really great artwork as always. On the back, you do got some stats and everything. You got an outline. So that's very nice. And he comes with this. Uh, doesn't come with instructions. You know, they usually don't. They you gotta scan the code, and it takes them to a video. So. It shows a little couple things where you can, you know, be careful with and everything. So pretty cool. So that is it. Whee! All right. Here is the man of the hour. This is their vice poison. And this is their quick strike. And I think he looks really good. Now, you know, I just, I like the way he looks. I mean, he is a, he is a uh, fuser. That's what they call him. Uh, so he is a cobra and a uh, scorpion and everything. So here he is. Has this beautiful, beautiful metallic kind of, um, turquoise kind of bluish green right there and it's got some paint right here as well so you can tell that the paint is kind of you know a little uh, mute uh, you know and, and then you got this nice nice i love that i love the metallic paint they use the really great job on that love the texture right there you got the little bump right there so that is very cool you got the scales very nicely done uh you got the legs you know some of the choices they use for this and this i'll talk about that in a second but looks pretty cool i like it on the back right there so that is very nice all right so here is the head sculpt it looks beautiful i love it it's got that you know like i said the paint it's got the red it's got the nice texture and everything it looks good the uh kind of the i don't know what they call them his uh pinchers i guess and his teeth right there whatever i think whatever scorpions have i don't know but um there you go you know i'm not an expert on scorpions but yeah very nice i it's on a hinge right here and a ball peg right there so you get tons of movement. You get up, you know, down, definitely up. You get a, you know, swivel right there. Looks good. So you get tons of movement with the head, you know, give it a little attitude. You got the, you know, look up like that. That is pretty cool. The arm, or, you know, is uh, his pink shirts and everything. So they're on a ball peg right here and there's a hinge right here. So you get very nicely done with this. It's kind of tight. Be careful. So you get a swivel, you get a, you know, in and out like that. So very nice. And then you get a hinge right there. And it's also on a ball peg too as well. You know, this is his um his his legs, you know, in bot mode. So you get a ball peg right there and a hinge. So you get that and you get the swivel. So you can get, you know, tons of articulation with that. That is cool. Uh, the pinchers are on a ball peg once again. Swivel in and out and a hinge to open up right there. Like I said, that's his feet. So very nice. Like I said, nice, you know, sculpt right there. I like the texture of it. Looks good. Once again, you got that nice turquoise greenish blue paint right there. And they're on the same, you know, both uh, arms or whatever you want to call them. Painters are on that side. All right. Moving on to his legs. Now they are soft plastic. So you can move them around. Um, kind of a weird choice. I don't know why they didn't do the hard plastic. Um, maybe because, you know, maybe not, you know, for breakage or something, but they use soft plastic. I like how the texture on this right here, like the little bumps and everything. So all um, eight legs are, like I said, they're just on little, you know, they're just, you know, soft plastic and everything. They do have a hinge right here. So this is going to be his other hand and everything. This doesn't really tab in anywhere. It, you know, it just kind of just sits there. So, you know, so... Um, you know, for him to stand, you know, he's mainly going to just, you know, for the uh, weight of it. It's not a heavy. The plastic is the same what they usually use. It's kind of a light kind of plastic. Uh, no die cast or anything like that, I don't think. And um, so he's mainly going to just sit like that. You can, you know, if you want to, you can move these down. And he can kind of stand up a little bit. 
not really well. I mean, he, he'll, well, he does, he'll stand, but he'll start, you know, sinking a little bit. So you can kind of position this. I try, to, I can, I had, I gotta do it. Come on now. Ain't gonna do it on camera. Yeah, well, maybe not. Well, anyways, you can kind of try to get him to, you know, stand up on this thing like that. It, it does, you know, it'll stay in there like that. You may have to, like I said, you may have to, you know, position the, you know, the legs the best way. So he'll stand up on there, but suddenly he'll just start, you know, look, he's starting to move a little bit. So yeah, so he's going to do that a little bit, but if you position it just right, you can, you know, he can stand a little bit. <laughs> so I don't know, just a weird choice. I don't know why they didn't do the hard plastic, but uh, they went with the soft plastic. So anyways, moving on. Uh, this, you know, once again, beautifully well done. I love the paint. Looks good. All right. Same with the um, snake little thing. They used a kind of a bendy. So there's, there's, it's on a, I don't know, this plastic right here. It's like on a bendy kind of plastic and everything, like a bendy wire, but it's not a wire, I guess what that would mean. It's just, you know, just a bendy kind of a plastic and everything. So you do got a swivel. Uh, each connection right here is just, you know, you can bend it. Uh, the problem is that, you know, once you start, you know, bending it, it starts moving back to its, you know, regular position sometimes, especially right here. So this is, and I don't know, you know, this is painted right here. This kind of a goldish bronze right here. So if you start bending, you can start seeing maybe like a little white in it and everything. So uh, hopefully maybe that won't start cracking or anything like that. Cause you have to, you know, if you want to position it, you have to you know, start bending it and everything. So you got this right here. You can hear the plastic and everything. You know, you got this right here like that. And same thing with each connection. Now, I don't know why, the, you know, with the toy, the toy version or the, you know, the regular toy from, uh, you know, the 96 or 90s, um, they had ball pegs. I don't know. I mean, that might have been ugly, you know, you know, for this kind of a figure. So that's probably why they went with this. I don't know why, but, you know, they just chose this. So, and <clears throat> there's a, there's a, like a, you can swivel up right here, you know, you can move it and kind of position it. But the thing is, it's such soft plastic that, you know, it doesn't really stick sometimes. Like, say so you'll start, you know, moving, you know, start, you know, sinking and all that stuff. So I don't know, weird choice maybe, but I don't know. Um, and then you got this right here. Um, I thought this was lazy at first, but then if you go look at the toy and also the cartoon, um, you can see it. So they stay true to the, you know, to the, you know, original, you know, source material. So, you know, that, you know, he's, you know, when in the cartoon and in the toy, you know, you can see his head, you know, so they stay faithful to that. So that's good. You know, I thought it was lazy at first, but then I was like, well, I mean, they stayed, you know, true to the, uh, design and everything. So, you know, um, you can also move these right here. They move, they're on a ball peg. These are on ball pegs too as well and everything. So, Anyway, just a, some weird choice. It looks good. Um, it's just some weird choices, uh, especially for the legs and for back here. Um, I don't know what else they could have done. Like I said, the ball pegs may have been ugly, you know, if you had like, you know, several, like the toy, uh, the original toy. So I don't know. But, um, oh, I forgot to show you can, um, you know, you got the nice red eyes. There's once again, this, uh, you know, turquoise, uh, the mouth and right there, orange is painted. You can open that up and you do got some paint in there too as well. Uh, you do have, now I remember he did have a, uh, like, um, you could put his tail in water and it, you know, be like a little soaker. Well, you do have like a little, little thing right there, that little turquoise thing that, you know, kind of to, uh, simulate, uh, it doesn't, you know, shoot water or anything like that, but kind of simulate that. And that's pretty cool. Nice little, you know, nod or touch to that. That's pretty cool. So yeah. All right. Well, there he is. Quick strike. I think, you know, he looks good. You know, I just have some, uh, you know, some weird things with the legs and the, uh, tail and everything, but there you go. All right, there he is next to Fanny Toys Jazz. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my trans art stuff. I already packed that up, so I don't have anything to do comparisons with. But there he is. He is bigger than a car. So, scale.
All right, back to transformation, and here is Quick Strike, and I think he looks freaking awesome. He is ugly, you know, most Beast Wars are. Uh, like I say, he's a fuser with a cobra and a scorpion. But man, I love it. I love that head sculpt. It looks so good. Love that turquoise blue or turquoise greenish. You, know, you got the uh, nice little spike right up here. Looks good. You got the mouth. Very nice. The red eyes looks really good. Got this little hood right there. All this uh, metallic paint looks good. This is painted too as well. Very nice. So you can look down. You can look up a little bit. Not much. Uh, you can swivel. It is on a tight ball peg. Be careful. And these little fangs. Be careful because they will scrape up against the little shoulder. So just be wary of that. And you got a little attitude as well. But it's a beautiful head sculpt. I like it. You got the uh, 80s, 80s woman working shoulder pads. They're on a ball peg and a little hinge, so you can move them up a little bit. So you can do that, you know, swivel a little bit, so you can do that. So very nice. Um, they might be painted too. It's on. It's got some nice sheen to it. All right, for the arms. So you can go up to there, right, right there, on a ball peg and a hinge. It looks like it's on a hinge. Just a hinge, yeah. Just a hinge, not a ball peg. Uh, but you can go all the way around. Uh, kind of manipulate around that right there. You do have a bicep swivel. It is tight and it does have a little squeaky squeak right there. You got that. You have a 90 degree elbow bend. Very nice. Um, like I said, it swivels right there. You got kind of a weird, it's cause of transformation, but kind of a weird uh, elbow. So it's on like a little hinge as well. So, and you got this, it has a swivel right there and a hinge as well so it hinges back there back there and then you got this hinge right here two hinges right there so you can close the, the fingers i guess you want to call them um like i said they are plastic like i said it's kind of a weird choice but i like it i mean I, it goes good i think i think it really does good i think it have been cool if they would have done the hard plastic but you know that's cool so you got the gold right there for the tips i guess for the fingers if you want to call them and then here you got the cobra you know got the nice right there nice little Sheen up there, you got this painted, uh, nice scales and everything. Like I said, you, you know, same thing you saw with that. You can open up the mouth and there you go. Very nice orange teeth or fangs, really good. And like I said, each, you know, each, you know, section, you know, like I said, this has a swivel. Um, like I said, I just, it's just gonna be weird. You know, the more you mess around with it, you know, like I said, when you start bending it, you can start seeing, you know, the plastic maybe cracking. So that, that might be something to, you know, kind of watch. Right there, that's kind of you know, you know, unfortunate. But each section, you know, is kind of on this little bendy kind of it feels like a bendy wire. Uh, but once you start bending, you know, it does stay some you know at a certain points, but sometimes it starts you know moving back to the original position. So just be wary of that, especially up here. You know, you got this. Uh, that's going to be a lot. You know, that might stress out and start cracking right there because if you use this a lot. So you got to swivel. See, it's already, it's already stretching. You can see, hopefully you can see it's stretching right there. So that might be a problem uh, further on down the line if you like to mess around with this thing. So that kind of, that's unfortunate. So there you go. You can kind of get him into positions. All right. So this little booty has uh, his scorpion head. You can, it's on a hinge. Once again, you can move it down however you want to. He does have a waist swivel. It kind of gets hung up back here. This little spot right here. They'll start, you know, getting hung up right there. So be wary of that and the hips as well. So it's really only got about to right there and then you start running into stuff and you don't want to damage the paint. With great paint comes great scratches. All right, Van Dam all day, every day like that. Once again, nice metallic paint. Um, kick up to about right there. You can kick back way back there. That's good. Um, no thigh swivel, but you have like a knee swivel and it is tight. Be careful. The tolerances are on this thing are really tight. Uh, you got a nice knee bend, you know, more than you need. That's really good. I like that. Uh, like I said it's a swivel right there. All right. Love the texture. Once again, the nice, uh, little bumps and everything looks good. The paint. All right. The feet, you got a toe tilt up a little bit, a little big toe tilt down. It's on a ball peg. You got a swivel, you got a little rocker. And everything and then you got the hill spur it can close like i said that was his painters and stuff and the back cleans up just great nothing really not a backpack like i said you can move this down you can have it like that as a booty or you can keep it up there however you want to nice and clean i like it 
And there you go. All right, there he is next to MP44 Optimus Prime. You got the Metagate Shatter. You also got the Generation Toy Sideswipe, the Bull. You got uh, Masterpiece Sideswipe. You got uh, Core Class Wheelie. And then you got Tiss McGee Redgar for some scale. And Cropper Garnish, Crappy Tool Paper, a AAA Battery, Carmex, Care Bears, and Kicker and Squeaks. More scale. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made this far, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, let's talk about some trans art. This is Quick Strike, and I love it. He is freaking awesome. Now, there are some issues. I do have some worries, and that's, I've said it throughout there, is this right here. Um, it, it will probably start cracking. And, uh, I, you know, if you start stretching it already, you can see some kind of a white or gray plastic, that, you know, because it is painted. That's going to be, you know, especially up, especially up here at the top of the shoulder. Um, that's going to, you know, cause some problems. I can already see it stretching and everything. I don't know. I mean, I, I understand why they kind of did it, but it would have been cool. Maybe do the ball joint thing. I don't know. It might have been ugly if they did that, but they could have covered it up with like scales or something like they did in the, like the toy um, kind of. So kind of weird and also a weird choice on this as well for having the soft plastic. It's not so bad over here. I, I can understand why they did that, but um, and the tolerances. Tolerances are really tight, especially around the legs, the head and everything, the shoulders. They're really tight, so be careful just because of the paint. They're kind of, you know, it makes it a little thicker, you know, giggity. But, um, yeah, other than that, I love it. I love the alt mode. Um, I'm going to probably display it in that mode. It looks really good. I really like that. Transformation is easy. Just a little couple of flip flaps here and there, you know, flip flap in there. But transformation is easy. One of the easiest ones I've ever done. Um, the bot mode looks good. Love the head sculpt. The paint is spectacular. I love this metallic kind of a turquoise greenish blue and you got that throughout there uh, the gold is painted you know it's just really nicely done i love the texture as well you got the rough texture i like that uh materials you know are on par with the trans art you know there's, it's not really a heavy you know it's, he's really light you know no, no die cast or anything like that uh, but they use kind of a light plastic and they've done that throughout their uh you know releases so it's it's fine um i didn't feel like it's gonna break anything like that um what else is there? Uh, articulation is pretty good across the board. You know, you don't have an ab crunch or anything. I think, you know, Masterpiece MP style stuff always should have a, a you know, kind of an ab crunch, but that's just me. But it doesn't have that. But other than that, you know, you can get some, you know, decent poses and everything. I like that. Uh, so articulation is pretty good. And uh, just overall, it looks good. I like it. My favorite character from Beast Wars, and I think they did a good job. Uh, just I just worry about this. Just like I said, if you take it out of the box and put it on the, you know, the stand, you know, your Display, it, it's going to be fine. But if you mess around with it a lot, it, it may start cracking and, you know, you know may start, uh, you know, cracking that paint and everything. So that's just, uh, I just worry about that. Other than that, it's, it's fun. It's a fun transformer. I like that. I love trans art, man. They do a good job. All right. So hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind, if you like this kind of thing. Um, hit me, hit that notification bell. It really helps out. Uh, hit me up some questions, you know, comments, you know, if you, what you think of the review. Do you, or is anybody getting this guy? What do y'all think of uh, trans arts? And uh, hit me up on other uh, platforms, my Instagram and TikTok. I got this at Show Z. Definitely go check them out there in the description. Uh, you know, they really good stuff. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking Beast Wars and Quick Dry. All right. And Rouse. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, he, you're a snake. Yes, yes. Yeah, but what tarnation? Good night, folks.